to prevent the transmission of disease in the dental environment, effective infection control procedures should be exercised by oral health care professionals. Blood and saliva may carry high concentrations of potentially infective viruses and bacteria, which can produce such diseases as the common cold, herpes, hepatitis B, pneumonia, and tuberculosis. If adequate infection control procedures are not practiced, a cycle of cross-contamination may occur, exposing the oral health care professional and patient to the risks of infection and illness. Hand washing is considered the single most important procedure in preventing cross-contamination. The purpose of hand washing is to reduce the overall bacterial flora of the skin, remove surface dirt and transient bacteria, dissolve the normal greasy film on the skin, and prevent the microorganisms from the patient becoming residents on the clinician's skin. It is impossible to sterilize the skin, so every attempt must be made to reduce the bacteria to minimize the risk of cross-contamination. Short, maintained fingernails and well-cared-for cuticles prevent a means of entry for microorganisms and allows more effective hand washing because fewer microorganisms can be harbored under the nails. Nail polish, including clear polish, should be removed as this can also harbor bacteria. Hand jewelry, with the exception of a plain wedding band, is to be removed as bacteria can become lodged in the crevices where cleaning can be impossible. Watches can be worn, but must be moved above the wrist area. If the watch cannot be moved above the wrist area, then it must be removed. The oral healthcare professional stands at a comfortable distance from the sink, turns on the water, wets hands, and avoids touching the inside of the sink. Once hands are wet, soap is dispensed to lather hands and wrists. The tips of the fingers, back, and palms of the hands are lathered and washed. The hands and wrists are then rinsed, allowing water to run off the fingertips to the wrist. Soap is once again dispensed onto a sterilized nail brush to clean under the fingernails. The hands, wrists, and nail brush are rinsed once this is completed. Soap is dispensed a third time, and a rotary motion for vigorous mechanical friction is used to lather hands and wrists. Water is used to thoroughly rinse the hands and wrists from the fingertips to the wrist. The hand wash should last for approximately three minutes. Hands are dried using paper towel, working from the fingertips to the wrists. The paper towel is then disposed. The nail brush is tapped dry on paper towel wrapped, and transported to the dirty window. The oral health professional is now ready to begin opening the operatory and gathering armamentarium for the day's clinical activities.